well, first off, thank you so much for your, your time this evening, this afternoon. You got it. Uh, how uh, how are you uh, surviving with everything? It's been a it's been a bit of a crazy uh, crazy time in 2020 so far. Seen a lot of my kids, that's for sure. <laughs> are you having to homeschool and all that kind of stuff? Yeah, we just actually finished with our last kid last week, so oh, okay. um, it was yeah, it was a very interesting, intense uh, two and a half months for sure. Yeah, I can imagine. It's been a well, it's obviously been a, a very strange time in America as well, given given what's been what's been going on. We've had some stuff here yeah. as well, so. Yeah. yeah crazy times well congratulations on the show uh season season three um are you are you still pinching yourself a little bit that the show's been quite as well received by by audiences and by by critics and and journalists and everything because the show seems to be going great guns uh did you were you prepared with just how how big the show was going to be and how kind of uh you know the fan base were, were going to take to it you know, ultimately, I, I don't think about those things when you start a show as, you know, whether it's going to be a big show or not. I mean, it, you know, the character resonated to me. I knew that there were great people involved like Taylor Sheridan to start with, who's, uh, you know, become a very dear friend. And John Linson, who created the show, who I've known for 20 years. And, and then you have, you know, Kevin Costner, which helps. Um, and then there's this tremendous cast, whether it's Kelly Riley, Wes Bentley, you know, Lou Grimes. So you look at the the big kind of, you know, picture and structure and you go this has a chance to be something special and I you know I now we're almost four year we're starting year four um I'm not that surprised people are you know doing amazing work and Taylor's writing fantastic characters and I think it's fresh and new as far as the typography and you know the place you know when's the last time you saw Montana is probably a river runs through it with you know um, Anthony Hopkins and uh, Brad Pitt and so um, it's just uh, I think um, and, and you know I think Taylor has really talked about some very relevant subject matters that are happening here in America. Yeah I was so, going to ask you about about Taylor because he came onto the you know obviously he was a, he was an actor as well wasn't he and he came onto the yeah. film world with Hella High Water and, and Wind River um, Sicario. and uh, Sicario and all this kind of stuff and he, he really has this great sense of character but also as you say of place and of of mm -hmm. of um of con of conflicts you know conflicts that are going on in the real world that are yeah. maybe not being talked about as much as they should be I mean how, how it must be great to be around him and to see him work because I know he directed all the season one I mean it must have been a great yeah. experience and he's 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 so so sharp with his characters and with his writing as well yeah I mean he's he's pretty much a dual threat you know I mean he's a great um, obviously a great storyteller um, a great writer he knows how to develop characters but. You know, I think a lot of the actors, too, have come in and brought, you know, stuff to the, to the table, including Kevin, myself, Kelly, Luke, Wes. I mean, you know, the list goes on all the way down to Gil Birmingham. So, um, you know, he he's, he casted it properly. He, 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 you know, Ben Richardson, I don't you know, a fellow Englishman, he's a phenomenal DP. Um, and they captured, you know, uh, the West, which I don't think anybody's done for 20, 30 years. You know. uh, tell me about um, about obviously not giving anything away, but about kind of Rip and the character and why you were drawn to him in the first place. And uh, have you been surprised at his journey over the three going into four seasons? As as kind of the writing and the scripts kind of kept you on your toes as to just where his character was going to go and, and the relationships he was going to have along the way. You know, I I don't know if I'm surprised. I, I you know I've I've worked hard with Taylor throughout the last three years to create the character, so. It's not like I just show up and he hands me pages and I go to work, but, you know, we, we have a great communication and, um, you know, we've talked a lot off camera um, about, you know, where we want this character to go. And, you know, ultimately it's his words, you know, but, um, you know, I'm blessed to have a guy that's creative that's right next to me, you know, um, taking risks and, you know, and wanting to make a colorful character and, you know, it's been just an absolute joy to work with him in that way. And, and you know, Obviously, I've, I've been blessed to have Kelly as well. I, I think our relationship is, you know, one of the more dynamic relationships on television as far as, you know, man and woman is concerned. And she's just a tremendous actress. And, and we just, we, we get along great on and off camera. And we love to push each other in the right ways to, to uh, you know, really pull at our heartstrings and stuff. So, I, you know, there's just a lot of variables that go into what, you know, the last couple of years have been, but I don't know if I'm surprised. 
No. And I have to ask you about working with 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 the great Kevin Costner. I mean, he's uh, you know a, a writer, producer, director. He's won Academy Awards. He's a fantastic actor. Um, yeah. What's it like working with him? Because this this character seems to show a different side to him than maybe we've seen before. It must have been great to be not just in his company, but to see him doing something a little bit different. Because the yeah. setting of the show mm -hmm. is very much things that he's talked about in his other movies and stories that he's that he's wanted to tell and you know he spent so much time trying to get something like dances with wolves off the ground to then come mm -hmm. on to this it's talking about themes and, and 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 stories that aren't being talked about i mean it must be great to work with work with him not just as an actor but as a as someone who's who's you know directed and, and produced and all that kind of stuff as well yeah i mean he, he's obviously somebody i've been watching from afar since a young man I and mean, i've watched all of his films i mean um He's done some, I think, some of the most iconic films, you know, as far as American males are concerned, and, and really, you know, is is a in his own right one of the better storytellers in you know American cinema. So, um, I think first I would say that he's a wonderful human being. You know, I think he, what what, I mean, when I think of him first, I think of him as like just a good guy, you know, who actually cares about his craft and is extremely dedicated to what he wants you know, and the vision that he wants, not only his character, but also, you know, the scope of the show. You know, he's a big part of, you know, the same relationship that I have with Taylor, he, he has as well on another level. So, you know, there, there's a lot of people that are pushing this, you know, show to be what it is, you know, and making it the best possible show, um, given, you know, what we, we have. So, you know, he's, he's somebody that, you know, I'm not a young actor, I'm 45 years old, but I still love to look up at, you know, a guy like Kevin and go, wow, he is as dedicated or more than anybody I've met, you know, and that's always um, a pleasure to watch. How is it doing? Obviously, TV is such a huge, I mean, it's a bit, it was a big medium anyway, but over the last sort of two, two decades or so, it's really come into its own. It's become this kind of rich platform for, for people to tell yeah. stories of relevance and everything else, but also for people to spend time with characters. How, how do you enjoy the process of, of spending more time with a character than you would on say, a, on, say, a movie? Obviously, I know that you would spend a few months on a movie, but with this character and on television, you spend so much time kind of refining and honing. I mean, it must be a great kind of uh, a different environment to be in as an actor to, to spend that much time with, with one person. Yeah, I mean, I, I had the opportunity right before this to do a show called Rogue, which I did four years on and, and, um, and be able to work with, you know, some phenomenal writers on that and be able to, you know, create a character that keeps the audience entertained for, which is not easy to do for four years. So, um, you know, here we are year four and to have the ability to tell a story, you know, not just for Taylor, the writer, you know, he's now almost had 30 hours of television, but to be able to, to know each year, I think it's more of a pressure thing, you know, which I enjoy is each year is having to recreate a character and for, for the audience to fall in love with or hate or, you know, um, or both, hopefully. Um, so, you know, I think it's a great challenge and I love that challenge. It's, it's what I enjoy about having potentially 100 hours of television. I mean, the goal is to get to 10, season 10, you know, and, and to be able to, you know, for it to feel as fresh and smart and as, you know, kind of poignant as, as it was the first season, you know, and if you can pull that off, then then you've done your job. Yeah, and also TV. I mean, obviously there's great stories in films, but with TV, it seems that the a lot of actors and a lot of writers who are really creative who perhaps don't get their projects off the ground as a, as a film, TV is such yeah. a great platform for that. And you can tell these amazing stories. And obviously this show talks about, you know, borders and about, um, you know, real estate and people trying to okay. take away the, the heartland of, of America for what it stood for and everything else. I mean, how how privileged do you feel to be in a show that's that's tackling those subjects, but also doing it in a way that is kind of universal in a sense that for British audiences, particularly, we still, you know, this is our gateway, if you like, into American history. Sure. Yeah, I mean, no better person to explain it than Taylor, I think. You know, he knows so much about stuff that nobody knows about, um, that he's researched, that he's, you know, been a part of, whether it's down in Texas or Montana or Wyoming or Idaho or Utah. I mean, he's just one of those guys that loves a wealth of knowledge when it comes to the, the modern West and the old West. Um, but it's, um, I think it's a really cool honor to be a part of, you know, one thing he does that, that I, that I really love just, you know, for me as a kind of a historian, you know, in, in film or, or television is that he, he doesn't, he doesn't draw a line in the sand between the American Indian and the white, you know, man, they, 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 he equally, you know, gives them 
you know, the time and, and, and um, an educational kind of understanding of what they're going through. And, and there's no right and wrong. It's up to the audience to decide which side you fall on, you know? Um, so I think he's, he's really smart in the way he does that. And then, you know, like you said, the, the water rights, the, you know, the land division, uh, the casinos, which are really relevant, you know, nowadays, you know, with the American Indians and how they're dealing with that, um, all the way to, you know, these, these great romances with, with Kelly and I. So it's like, he has, you know, kind of a wealth of, um, of knowledge when it comes to the political aspect, but also, you know, what creates, you know, uh, characters in humanity and, and certainly in that location in the world. Yeah, absolutely. And just as a final question then, I mean, you touched on potentially what the, where the series could go with, with season yeah. one, you even said about maybe going to, to 10 years. Is this, is this a character in a story that you will, you, you will, you will miss, but ultimately you will be so thrilled to have been a part of once it, it comes to an end, whenever that might be. And, and yeah. we feel kind of richer, richer for it. The fact that you've been able to be part of this, this fantastic show. Yeah. I mean, if it ended tomorrow, I would say like, this has been a one hell of an experience and a great ride. I mean, it's, I've learned so much. I mean, if you just like cut everything out and go, okay, I've become such a, you know, respect uh, to the cowboys who are real true horsemen, you know, who go and they have all these different disciplines, whether it's cutting or roping or reining and, and how much time it takes to be good at each discipline. And, you know, I'm now three and a half years into riding like full on and I'm still learning. So I, you know, the great opportunity that you have as an actor, and I'm sure you've heard this before in the interviews, is you get the opportunity to, to go and do things that and be taught by the best of the best. And it's been such an honor to, um, to have that. So, yeah, I, if it ended tomorrow, I'd, I'd be sad. But at the same time, too, I feel like I've, I've done the best work that I could. Yeah. Well, fingers crossed you get a few more years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, absolute pleasure yeah. talking to you thank you so much for your time and uh, you, stay, stay safe and, uh, and good luck with everything yeah. thank good you so much you. you too bye bye ladies and gentlemen you're watching hey you guys hey you guys huh hey, you guys. is yeah. that from the goonies indeed, yeah. nice hey